Uh -huh. Is it the noise from the lack of synovial fluid or something hmm. there? Yeah. There are a lot of different ideas. Um, and I think there's a lot of different causes for noise. There's some popping that happens. It's it, like you kind of kind of have to listen and see what it sounds like. There's some sounds that are kind of snapping sound that might sound like <laughs> not that kind of snapping sound um, that that are a ligament popping over a bone. So sometimes there's a kind of a clunking. It might be a clunking sound. Yeah, like that. <laughs> <laughs> Say, can you do them all on command? <laughs> Unfortunately. Unfortunately. So it might be um, there's a kind of clunking or a snapping that can be from a joint, from a collateral ligament kind of snapping over something. Or from a bone being a little bit out of whack and going back into whack. So if the, if the surfaces are supposed to be like this, and they're like this and then they go back in. Sometimes there's a, that's what I think of as a thunk or there's that like, oh, when you feel better, like something's a little out of whack and then you pop it back into place. That is the two bones being a little out of, their surfaces not being congruent and then getting back into congruence. There's also something that I don't understand and I think is theoretical and not, hasn't, Anyway, about gases building up in the joint and some of the popping that happens inside the joint that's like not two surfaces clunking over each other. That might just be a natural product of something with nitrogen, I think. Most of the clunking that I hear in people is something a little bit out of whack getting back into whack or something that moves a lot sliding out and back in. And those are the ones that I worry about because it, I, if they happen over and over again, it's going to cause some wear and tear on the hyaline cartilage and then on the bone. So a little pop, a pop once in a while, like every so often, every couple of weeks when you do trichinocina, if you hear a little pop, it's not a big deal. But if every day you do trichinocina and you get this pop, then that's a sign that something is either getting pulled out of whack or has gotten out of whack and is getting realigned. And those repeating snaps and pops are um, things that I think we should avoid. And I think we should avoid them by figuring out how we're getting out of alignment and then not doing that. Because the tricky thing is a lot of people are like, well, but I feel better once I pop. And so it's not that I want people to be in distress and never never get themselves back into alignment. But if we could figure out what it is that got us out of alignment and not do that, then we wouldn't need to do the popping to get back into alignment. There is another kind of sound that happens in the joints that's kind of a crackling sound. Yeah, that is, um, might be, all of this is theoretical, but that might be something called crepitus which is when there's wear and tear and bits of cartilage are floating around in the synovial fluid and you hear them kind of grinding on each other, or grinding in the joint, like when you knees, when they just go crackle, 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 crackle. And that is also related with aging, right? It is related with aging, yes. And that will also go away. That can go away. And it's, I had an interesting experience recently because I've always thought that the crepitus is just kind of the product of wear and tear and if you stop doing it to your knees it'll go away and that it's just stuff that's in there floating around in the um, cavity because my knees crackle all the time and it, it was really hard on them growing up and I, uh, growing up, even when I was a grown up I was really hard on them. Um, and uh, I recently had a rolfing session and came out of it and the crepitus was gone. So, so I can no longer say that it's just wear and tear because it's also something about what's going on in how I'm using the bones in my lower leg because my knee stopped crackling and then it came back. So, so I don't know anymore. I mean, I still think there's bits of stuff in there, but that, that it has to make sound. I don't know. <laughs>